To get started with the Gumsticks Raspberry Pi CM4 Pixel FMU V6U, please visit Upgrader and download Gumsticks Auto BSP. Next, connect the Raspberry Pi CM4 to the host computer using the USB-C port on the Pixel board. Make sure that you hold the boot button while you power it on. Once you boot the CM4, unload the Upgrader device tree overlay file to the boot overlays folder and add a line dt overlay equals upgrader in boot config.txt. QGrind Control is a powerful ground control station to configure and fly a PX4 based autopilot. To download and install the software, check the daily builds and follow the instructions. Once QGrind Control has been downloaded, Run the program, go to Vehicle Setup, and click Farmware. Plug in the device and it will unload the firmware automatically. The tools you need to create your own drone from scratch using the Gumsticks board depend on the type of drone you want to build. This section will show you some key components that all drones require. First off, choose the frame type. This will determine many factors about your drone, and in this video, X configuration quadcopter has been used. Each arm of the frame will have one motor, which controls rotation and speed. There are three wires coming out from the motors, which directly plug onto the three wires coming from the electronic speed controller. Please make sure the motors are spinning the correct direction depending on the frame you use. Motor direction is reversed simply by interchanging two of three ESC to motor power leads. In this case, motors and speed controllers are already attached to the frame. One of the crucial pieces of equipment necessary for flying a drone is radio transmitter and receiver. The radio receiver should be connected to the drone being remotely controlled, so plug the receiver into the Pixel RC input port. A binding operation is required to control the drone with RC transmitter, and it will show the LED lights once the transmitter is on if connected properly. We also need a GPS module to determine the position of the vehicles. Please make sure that an antenna is connected to the GPS board as it provides precision and an advanced signal design for GPS navigation. Same as the RC receiver, plug the connector into the Pixel GPS port. Next, we need a LiPo battery that allows the pack to provide power to the Pixel board and motors. To charge the battery, first we need a balanced connector to monitor and charge cells. And then the T connector will be used to charge and discharge the battery. Change the setting of the charger depending on the specific battery you use and be sure that you do not exceed the recommended charge current for the battery. Press and hold the start button and then press the start button once again to begin charging your battery. Now we're going to mount all these electronics to the frame. The main circuit board should be secured to the main body of the quadcopter and small rubber grommets were used as vibration observers. The RC receiver and GPS PCB with the antenna have been attached using cable tie. The GPS antenna should face up and high for better signals. Connect the motors to the PWM headers on the board and install the propellers. Please make sure that you're using the correct propeller direction depending on the frame type you use. Using QGround control, we could configure a new vehicle prior to first flight. 
If it is the first time you set up the vehicle, you would see red circles in the sidebar and it will show green circles once it is calibrated. First, select airframe in the sidebar. Choose the airframe that matches your vehicle and click the apply and restart button to save the settings and restart the vehicle. For radio setup, it will ask you to move your main transmitter control sticks in a specific pattern. There are two different types of transmitter configuration and set the transmitter mode radio button that matches your configuration. Turn on the RC transmitter and follow the instructions to start the calibration. The sensor setup allows you to configure and calibrate the vehicle's compass, gyroscope, accelerometer, and any other sensors. Q ground control will guide you to place and hold or move your vehicle in a number of orientations. In this section, you will map flight modes to radio channels and to the switches on the RC transmitter. Single channel mode selection is recommended as it is easy to understand and configure. Turn on the transmitter and specify flight mode in switch settings. To configure basic settings for the battery, set the correct values of the number of cells connected in series in the battery, maximum voltage of each cell, minimum safe voltage of each cell, and voltage divider. You could also configure some safety features to protect and recover the vehicle if something goes wrong in the safety setup section. Once the calibration and pre-flight checklist have been done, it will show the ready-to-fly message on the screen. To arm the vehicle and start the motors in preparation for takeoff, select Arm and use the confirmation slider. Thanks for watching the video. Please visit Upverter for more information about the Gumsticks CM4 Pixock FMU V6U board.